Hey there! As a student at UBC, I often come into each semester with a determination to put my best foot forward and stay up to date with all my coursework. But things don't always go to plan. Motivation can be tricky and leave unexpectedly, causing me to procrastinate on a pile of assignments due the next day. So, what can I do to get back on track? In this video, we'll be going over a few helpful tips and tricks to revive that motivation and help conquer your semester. In my academic journey, I've discovered the significance of motivation and discipline. While discipline is vital for success, motivation still has its place. There are times when I require that extra motivational push to sit down at my desk with my textbook open, which can be initially sparked by the anticipation of an upcoming exam. Getting a good grade for the anticipated exam works as the external goal fostering the extrinsic motivation. However, it is also a good practice to get to know my intrinsic motivators. Personally, I am deeply passionate about art and I would love to connect my future career with developing media. So when approaching my final assignment for the science course, I ask my professor if I could submit it as a podcast. The assignment then is more fun and connected to my personal values, acting on intrinsic motivation. Discipline, on the other hand, requires a lot of practice and needs to be built up. It's what keeps me going despite the lack of or presence of motivation, such as when I know I can't meet an important deadline unless I start working on it now, even when I don't necessarily want to. By combining discipline with my intrinsic and extrinsic motivations, I can ease into study sessions with my motivations and stay consistent using discipline. Doing so allows me to achieve my goals and excel in my studies. I've discovered a few effective ways to find motivation and discipline that have really helped me stay focused and engaged. If you are starting from scratch, begin by setting achievable goals that give you a clear sense of purpose. One strategy that works well for me is attending real-time lectures. I find connecting with my lecturers and classmates helps build community around my interests. Conversations can spark inspiration that ultimately nurtures our sense of motivation. Applying what I've learned to real-life situations or personal projects helps me foster my intrinsic motivation. Another technique that has made a significant difference for me is writing reflections at the end of each day. I notice that writing reflections at the end of the day helps me acknowledge the hard work I've put into my work and courses. I try to spend around 10 to 15 minutes before going to bed to write down at least three small wins every day, regardless if it is about my coursework or regular moments. For example, last week I wrote down that I raised my hand twice in class to ask questions, things I typically find really challenging. When writing these small wins down, I can track my progress and growth over time. This helped me to feel more grateful and recharge from my online classes the next day as well. Developing discipline as a student plays a vital role in attaining academic success and personal growth. I found that establishing precise but achievable objectives and following a structured timetable is an effective approach. For example, instead of committing to a marathon, I start by running 10 to 15 minutes daily, tracking my progress, and making stops whenever my body needs to. After a while, running becomes a consistent habit that I can extend to longer distances and after some time I can consider joining a marathon. Applying this to studying, avoiding distractions by keeping my phone in another room or turning off my notifications also helps me stay focused and avoid leaving tasks until the last minute. This not only enhances my organizational skills, but also helps with concentration. I found that daily check-ins help me stay motivated, and building a consistent study routine disciplined me enough to keep up with my classes even during the busy exam seasons. Now I feel more passionate about my studying, and my schedule has more time to pursue other aspects of my life outside of the classroom. I hope these tips were helpful. How about you? How do you keep your spark alive? Please share your own experience with us below.